Hello and welcome to another Yoldi Battle Epsom Moonstone Report, number 52. Um, something a bit different, I, like, I love saying that, you hear me say that a lot when I've been saying reports, but this is something different. You can see we've got a nice little circle of structures. We're doing Giants versus Trolls, which is be fun, it can be hitty and <laughs> scary, but to make it a bit different as well, we're doing a kind of alternative take on sleepyheads. So sleepyheads being a scenario where normally no one starts on the board, you flip an arcane card and the number you get is the number of models of yours that can turn up. Um, so we're going to do that. If you get catastrophe, no one turns up. <laughs> um, but I think maybe we should say a minimum of one. Yeah, we did change it one of the times. We did change it once. Yeah. There was a min I, think, I think we should say minimum of one. But um, the difference is, trolls obviously live under stones. So the troll side can only come out from under rock, 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 and there's little entrances I've made <laughs> with the, the barrels yeah, and boxes cool, you can yeah. see. And same with and giants can only come out of the houses because giants apparently live in tiny houses. <laughs> well, I was thinking about the Hogwarts and Hollow ones up, but they're massive. I quite bad it is small mm. and you can see it easily. Yeah, I did. I did think about the giants coming out of the doors. It might be a bit. Scary, yeah, but I just kind of thought, yeah. <laughs> um, and they've also got little entrances marked out. So you can you can appear between the barrels and the boxes. Um, so basically, we've got the trolls and the giants each. So Jack's got Lubard, Bunhilda, Gotchgut, Dim and Dimmer, and he's also got Five Flavius for a healer, um, who's also kind of a semi giant anyway, because he's got like giant go. nine health. He's got nine health, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and he's got spiteful. natural padding and natural padding <laughs> and spiteful, so he's pretty tough anyway. Yeah, I've, I've then got the trolls. I've got Bristlenose, Boulder, Rye, Bold, and Noel. And I've, we're, I'm going about a healer for me because Noel's a healer already. So I've got Beaky, but we are going to say that he's restricted to one heal per turn. Yeah. Otherwise, I've got three heals and just got one. So we're we're going to limit it to one heal per turn, unless it gets ridiculous somehow and I need it yeah. and I'm losing loads yeah. of we'll, we'll just do it. But it's not a competitive game. This is a fun one. It's going to be bonkers. It's going to be mad. <laughs> We've got five moonstones. You can kind of see. You can see. Actually, you can just see three of them. There's a three, a one, a two there, a one here, and there's a four. You can just see it poking out above that mushroom. There's a four there. Um, so yeah, shall we pull our arcane cards? Oh, I do. I don't know if we need to see who roll who. Should we roll who yeah, goes we'll first? Roll we'll, we'll try and roll it down here so people can see. Roll it there. So you'll be better at dice. Dice, 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 dice. <laughs> so I get a six, five, a five. So. If I pull an arcane card first, let's give it a shuffle, see how many I get, and I'll put the first one down, and then, you get, then we'll do it alternately. So I get one, and Jack gets one. One. So <laughs> one. It's going to be a quite a quick turn one. Okay, we'll come back in a moment when we've decided who we're taking and and what what not. Okay, end of turn one. <laughs> That's very simple. Um, I chose Rybold. Jack chose Gotchka. Uh, I won Roloff, made him go first. He moved up outside of 10 inches, knowing he therefore couldn't get shot by the cannon. I just jogged up a couple of steps. I'm now touching a moonstone. You can't see it behind that boulder, but I am touching a moonstone. And Jack then used reaction steps because he didn't have to worry about being shot now. Um, have to move to as well. So, um, I guess we roll off again. Should we do this roll off? I can't remember the rules, I'm not going to get the rule book. This roll off is who deploys first and who then goes first. Then we're not rolling twice. Yep. Two. Five. Five. So Jack flicks an arcane card first and will then also go first as well. Yeah. I don't know if I should have added to those. None. One. One, yeah. We said, <laughs> we did, yes, we said yes, but two, we said one. We said one. one, he hastily adds. Yes, yeah. And I get one as one. well. Oh my God. We've got two ones. Well, these, these rigs got two ones in a row and two cashmies in a row. Right. I think we should say that, hmm, maybe in turn three, the rest will turn up anyway. <laughs> yeah, or, we, or, we, or we could do five. Turn, or we could keep going. Turn, turn four. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. It's, it's funny that it's, 
Yeah. We might end up with all of them. It'll be a really, really quick game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we'll decide who we're deploying and where they're going. Mm-hmm. And we'll come back in a minute when something's happening. Hey, turn two. As you saw, we only got one person each. Jack bought Dim and Dimmer on. He bought him one of the little house in the distance. <laughs> um, I'll bristle those on. He's hovering around this one. Um, that's gone first. He's gone straight in to hit Rybold, which is a bit scary because he's quite good against me. <laughs> and I'm not so good against him because he's minus two impact. Um, oh, and Jack got a two for Dim and Dimmer's card. Yes. He's got three yeah. energy. Yeah. So if you don't know Dim and Dimmer, he starts with one energy, but at the beginning of his activation, you put you t- turn over the top arcane card and he gets that much energy. And if he gets a catastrophe, I think he loses all the energy. Um, so it's a bit spiky, but it's quite a fun little thing. So as Rybold, these are my cards. Ready, Jack? Okay. So I'll do three to you, because I'm plus two. I'm minus two. Minus two. So you'll, you'll take three. And I'll take one, one two, plus three. Two. Minus one. one plus my arm. Two. Take two. When I've got a pen out. Oh, pen. Okay, I'll grab a pen and start, yeah. and then we'll, we'll come yeah. back and do the next round. Round two. Ding, 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 ding. That's five. What is that? Two falling swings. Two falling swings. <laughs> okay, so you'll do two plus three minus one, so you'll do four, and I'll do six. Jesus. <laughs> This has gone surprisingly well. Six. I need the pen. We only got one pen. And you did four, didn't you? Four. How much health have you got left? Five left. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you've got more health yeah, than me. Yeah, you start drawing start more health. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep it running for the next bit. So the last we'll... attack. Last attack. Oh, we could kill each other if we get, <laughs> we get unlucky. This is where you get two high yards and kill spare. <laughs> I, I'd do it. I'd do it. It'd be funny. So because we've got this, like, it's really everything's going to happen in this little circle. I'm going to hopefully leave this camera here the whole time. So everything will be taken from this view. Let me know what you think of keeping a static camera view. It kind of works, obviously, for this one because it's yeah, so a it's small area. Yeah. And also so nothing blocking in the middle. And nothing blocking it, so we can pretty much see everything. Right. One, two, three, four, one, two for you. Okay, so my one this time. Mm-hmm. Disturbing. <sighs> okay. Okay. Give me a cut. No guard. I think you do none. No, no, I'm not do none. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I didn't play my other card, which was a thrust. <laughs> well, I thought I can't do it. I can't thrust any damage, yeah. so I thought I might as well play the defensive card. I you do a thrust, but it's the only slicing I had, and I thought I might be able to do a bit of extra bonus damage to keep my Yeah, slicing. yeah, yeah. Okay, on to my turn. Let me have a thinking turn. Okay, come back in a moment. Well, Jack eats very loud. MMs. So, next up, I went with Bristle Nose next. I just moved him up and dug up that Moonstone too, because I think Dim and Dim had forgotten that he must be getting Moonstones. Yeah, I didn't move him in contact with that. But no, um, so. That's all he did. And then got, got dug at the Moonstone, he was sat next to, has moved up and is hitting, doing one hit on Bristlenose. Yeah, squaring off against each other, looking at them, <laughs> staring each other in the eyes. This is my card, I get three. I'm going to play this one. What's Jack going to play? Thrust. Oh, look at that. Thrust. Two thrusts. Oh, it doesn't matter, really. <laughs> Double thrust, I'll thrust aside the sweeping cut. So, I'll pick none, because it's zero. 
it's yep. like it. And I'll do a rising attack, which I'll upgrade to my thing, and I'll do three damage to you. So six. No, just three, because it's magical. It's just your three. So it's not slicing, so I'm going oh, to okay. hunger, so it's just three damage. It's but it's magical, so it gets through your armor. Cool. Yeah. Okay. You've not done well with melee. Mm. You've done two melees, and I've done probably more better out of both of them. Yeah. Okay, on to... I'll tell you what, I'm going to go straight on to Rybold, and he's just going to bash Dimmer Dinner. Bash him Dimmer Dinner. Really I could shoot him, but I know it's X plus... 3x times minus 1, but it's actually 3x minus 3. 3, yeah. So even if I get a 3, yeah, still do 6 damage. Yeah, let's shoot him, let's shoot him, shoot him. It's more fun I to shoot I wish you would stop thinking about things. <laughs> you would talk yourself into the right I thing. almost talk myself into, into, into the mistake there. No, and also, we there's not going to be a lot of arcane in this, so let's... Yeah, that's true. Let's kind of turn him round. He's like, oi! Oi! He's like, oh, oh crap. <laughs> yes, that is a small cannon. Okay, so and, and also there's nothing in the way this time, so I'll actually be arcane five. Yeah. So. Do as a unit myself. I could just do my catastrophe and do three medical damage to you. What's the range of it? The uh, my hip was on it. Yeah, <laughs> I'll check that. <laughs> but I will check that now just in case. Because I think it's within. It's within two. So he'd be all right. There you go. Okay. Right, these are my cards. I'm... Catastrophe. <laughs> so you just then... Um... I'll suffer three wounds and so will you. And you're moved an inch directly away. So we'll both be on two? Both be on two. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wanted to tell you, I had no greens. Those are my other cards. I don't really care about telling you, Jack, but... Because there's nothing you can do about it, really. Can't do anything. If you call yeah. them. If I call them. Yeah. yeah. If not, I yeah. Yeah. All right. So we'll both take three wounds. <laughs> both be on two wounds left. Didn't go to plan, but it's so funny. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll keep it going, and we'll roll off the uh, pop glass with a pen. I'll do my three wounds. And also, if I didn't fire the cannon now, I wouldn't be able to fire it because I know I've got one energy now. Yep. So if we roll off. Three. Two. Two. Right, I get to go first. How many people are going to get? Get. Yeah? No, I got one. <laughs> but are we going to say... get two, though. We said, yeah, I think we think we, think we said we will get two. So I get two? Yeah. I think I've got something else for a laugh. But I was, I was, I was, I was always going to say I was going to get one. <laughs> that wasn't good. Oh, yeah, I'll just turn one over then. Let me shuffle them again. So I get two. Basically, we get two or three now. Yeah. And Jack gets... Three. Three. Oh, God. <laughs> so who am I going to leave behind? That's the question. I'm, going to have to, I'm probably going to leave Beaky behind, you know. Right, have a think. And I'll mm. come back with some more trolls. Yeah. Okay, so we saw I've got two, so I've brought Noel on at the rock on the far side and Boulder to the right. I got three, so he's bought, brought. Um, he's got Firefly, Fire Flavius here, Lubard and Brunhilde. Yeah. I'm going with Rybold first, and he's starting by smacking Dim and Dimmer because I just think if I don't go Rybold first, he'll like die. But Dim and Dimmer is within three inches of Noel. Three into one, melee. Three into melee, yeah. One card. These are mine. Uh, I don't really know what to go for. Probably this one. Um, it's kind of stuff I would edit out of the end. <laughs> but I won't. <laughs> um, yeah, or I'll go for this one. But I'm, I don't yeah. want to, but I'm going to this one. <laughs> Rising attack. Oh, I've only had one card. Oh, one card. So I will do two. And I will kill you. It's two, yeah, two left, yeah. Plus two, minus two. So you'll die. Good to go to the falling swing then. It's the other one I thought. Yeah, damn it. So yeah. Damn, he was dead. First casualty. Although, you know, he's not feeling too hot. <laughs> yeah. And you've got Brunhilde who can go next. That one. Yeah. Okay. First casualty. First giant out. 
It evens it up now, and now you've got more models, but one of them's already dead. Um, okay. Yeah, over to Jack. Just doing a correction, which I think we made a mistake. Somehow we forgot that Gotch got picked up the moonstone, and, knocked it and Jack like knocked it over. So the moonstone that was there wasn't a moonstone. <laughs> um, I didn't notice it either, so we both just missed it. I think we're just having too much fun doing stuff with giants and trolls that we just missed it. Um, and I said, Jack, I would not have put Boulder over there. Oh, I think that's one thing right now. So Jack let me put him, put him here. That's where I would have put him. I still would have gone with Rybold first. It only affects what we've just done in this turn. Yeah. Because he dug down last turn. Yeah. We've already done one thing this turn, which is Rybold. I still would have gone with him. I still would have attacked. It doesn't matter. But we just corrected it and I put Boulder here instead. Yep. Because he wouldn't have gone over there because there'd be no point. And we'll there's a gap there. Because there's no... Um... Do you want to think you did? Because now it's your turn to decide what yeah. you can do anyway. If anything, it makes your decision now slightly easier. Because um, Jack was thinking about going after Boulder with Lubard. But you don't need to do Probably. that now. Yeah. So... Yeah. Cool. You still would have had to put those three models there. Um, anyway. You didn't really have to worry about that. Yeah, they could sort of sort themselves out. Cool. Yeah. Right. Okay, back to Jack deciding what to do. Cool. Do you need to know what you're doing? No. no. Okay. <laughs> so you just, you just thought I'd cover the next, the next two actions of the next activation that just happened because I was about to lose track. So Brunhilde moved up and dug up the moose over there. As a response, Bristlenose did a reaction step to move out of Gotchgut's melee zone, but still in contact with that Moonstone. Went next, dug up the Moonstone with his last energy, and then jogged away. So he's kind of out the way now, but has a Moonstone, because I just need to get some Moonstones, I haven't got any, and I don't know how I'm going to stop this one down here. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe I should have moved him this way. But then he's just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, meh. So back over to yeah. to Jack, basically. Yep. Okay, so after Bristlenose moved back, um, Flavius moved up and dug the one up three that was here. Boulder moved all the way up over here to get within close range of this moonstone to stop him. Lubard moved round and done an attack, but we're not really going to do the attack because I got two thrusts. What have you got, Jack? You have to show me, well, anyway. So Jack's got, I'll tell you, Jack's got two low guards, two high guards on Sweeping Cap. Well, I mean, maybe we should play it. Oh, isn't, isn't your thing so isn't Sweeping Cap? Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, <laughs> we, we, we've told, well, you yeah. told you mine, but I have to play anyway, so. Yeah. And you'd play That's Sweeping Cap. That's why I play it, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah what does your thing do on Sweeping Cap? So my thing does zero damage to a Sweeping Cap. So then I've got uh, plus... Against the oh, thrust. no, it's only impact, isn't it? Yeah, never mind. Oh, change it to impact. So look. Change it to impact, and then so I'll do zero, so I'll do two minus one, right? So one damage to them. Okay, if the enemy is in one inch, which is not. No, no, no. So no, basically, no. you just do one damage. Do one damage, yeah. Okay, so yeah, do one <laughs> damage. Um, I don't suffer the minus two melee. No, I don't, I don't um, lose any energy with the melee anyway. Just take one damage. Take one damage. Okay. So it was quite, it was, it was quite so One damage on Boulder. Just 11 health left. And then going to hit again. Yep. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two. Did use my two? I'm going to do that one. His on, his on thrust. Oh, yeah, mine's on thrust as well, but you, you have to be within an inch. Mm, okay. It's my card, so. <coughs> yeah, it's a shame, isn't it? Okay. Right. Yeah, so Jack's showing me his cards, by the way, so I could show you actually, because Jack's got predictable combatants. So those are Jack's cards. These are my cards. Yeah, Lubar has a beautiful combatant, so do I as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, right. Show me, me again quickly, sorry. Because you're probably going to play. No, I've forgotten what I've got. I'm just working something out. Okay. Not allowed to. Okay, I think I'm going to do this uh, one. So I'm not really sure. Impact plus two. 
Oh, you can't. He, he can't do piercing, can he? Yeah, he, there's nothing to stop him doing. Okay, he just gets burnt his back. Yeah, he gets burnt his back. Yeah. Okay. So that makes it not as predictable. Yeah, no, I'm gonna play this one. Fade when you are. Jack's thinking so hard about doing really about one damage. <laughs> okay, let's do. Do I think that? Low guard. You got low guard, yeah. It's been done. Um, yeah, I had a low guard and a high guard. So it's kind of like, but then I remembered that you don't get bonuses against your thrust, so it would have been... Actually, if you played the high guard, and I, yeah, not doing the thrust, then... It would have been zero. It would have been zero. And would I would have been bonuses. zero. Bonuses, yes. So I would have had to, yeah. So basically, either way, I'm pretty sure I was going to get yeah, zero, but if you'd done thrust against my rising attack, I would have taken, I think, like one. Yeah. Or none, actually, could be minus one. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, last yeah. thing I'm going to do, basically, is... Oh, actually, he's not going to dig it up yet, is he? Think. Where, where have you got the moonstone one? Yeah, pass me that. He's gonna go. Oh, he can get there. Four and then five. So he will. Uh, yeah, that's four. So he'll jog. He's not slow. Yeah, he'll basically jog and pick up that moonstone. So I've got two. Jack's got two. This roll could be critical because if you win it. I still got got to go. So I've got to go. Sorry, yes, I've got to go. Um, because he's got moonstone. Got moonstone, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll leave you to think anyway. Really yeah. To, uh... Good, 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 good. Oh, damn it. <laughs> so, end of the turn. Gotch Guts has just moved as far as he can this way to basically stop Boulder from blocking um, Fire. Because if Jack wins the roll off now, Fire will go first and pick up that move to him because he's not engaged. Um, which will make it quite hard for me to win. Not impossible, but quite hard for me to win. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, it's an important role. One, oh. four. four. Well, we'll do that. Just well, I'll bring Beaky on, and he will come on. Yeah. Temptation is actually bring him over there. Hmm. Because I don't think I can get this. So maybe I should go. I'm going to go, go over there. Oh, can't come on there. I'm in mean, oh, troll, troll, troll side, aren't yeah. I? Yeah, you can go on there. Uh, I can come on there. He just don't move fairly far. And no one he's no one no, none of mine are particularly injured apart from Leibold who's there. Um Okay, when are you gonna go with Flavius first and dig it up? So Gotchka is at minus one energy, right? Yes, he's at one energy now, yeah. It's a calcify. Um oh, mine have got Yeah, Flavius did it for one. So he's dig digging that for one, yeah. Yeah, then he just um I think what he'll do is he got two energy left. He'll just move away, but he will then try and heal. I wonder. I heal wonder. Yeah, I'm going to check that. I don't think I can step into there. No, I can't fit. That's fine. Can't fit. Yeah, there. worth checking. Yeah, can't fit. So you're just going to dig it for one. I'll move it in a second. He's just going to jog away. And step two, yeah, to get as far away as you can, basically. Um. Oh, the camera's now blocking me. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So basically, I'll, I'll do that and you can see it. Well, no, he doesn't want, necessarily want to go any further. Didn't need to, does he? He wants to heal. He's got two energy left. Uh, yeah, but he can jog two. Oh, he's got a missile. Fuck. Uh, it's probably far enough to be far away, to be honest. Away, I think. And he's not exactly a pushover. No, no, no. I mean, Boulder can't kill him in one round of combat. Um, so, I think, I think he will use his last two energy to try and heal. Uh, have you got the... Yeah, got the cards. Yeah. Heal. <clears throat> got um, got yeah. 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 It's ten three wounds, so yeah, I'm just going to Okay. Both of those two have got moonstones. It's like really hard for you to do anything. Uh, it's just so. your one with two health left that has not got a moonstone. Yeah, <laughs> and Beaky and Boulder, so... Yeah. Um, yeah. Hindsight, I probably should have just gone with Null straight up Brunhilde. Let him... Or what, let one of those to pick that up next turn. Mm, so you're getting up with Null. Um, that was a mistake on my part. I, got, I kind of thought, no, no, I've got to get that one moonstone. Actually, I didn't think about the long, mm. longer game. So he's arcane three. Uh, yeah, three. Looking for blues, obviously. Blue three. Bluff. Yep. Okay. So he's on full health. Um, 
What I might suggest we do, Jack, just to keep it, unless it gets to like a clinching point, then we'll kind of play out the rest of the turn now because I'm pretty sure I can't win. Cool. Unless I get really lucky with some melees. So we'll just kind of play it out now. If it gets to the point where like someone's on two health and I've got attack, then we'll film it. But it's now just going to be so close that it's probably irrelevant. Cool. Because um, I've got three models here with slow. Oh, God, he's slow as well, isn't he? Oh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll just kind of play out the rest of it and, and go from there. Cool. Okay, just to close it off. So we started doing the combat with Boulder, but then I basically realised when I hadn't done really any damage to... Gosh, God, I thought I did like two or something. But not, I wasn't going to... I needed to get really good. If, I, three, if I've got like done. three thrusts... Yeah, you did three. I'd have done like, one more like a load of damage yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It would be okay, but I didn't do enough damage. <coughs> Either yeah. them. And at this point, I can't win, potentially, because Jack will just run away with Brunhild. We just moved a couple of bits because we were talking, and that's where those boxes are over there. Um, it's run away with Brunhilde. Gotchkart won't die because Bristol Nose can't get to him because he's slow. Um, I kept thinking Bristol Nose had three inch melee. Well, no. I think it's because he's got plus three damage, which is quite rare. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's quite, I quite enjoyed it. It's quite, it's, quite, it's, quite, yeah. it's, quite, it's quite a weird thing using trolls and guns because you just have so little energy. It is weird. No, it's yeah. got. You have to think. You have to think more well, carefully. Do you use it? And I never so, got a chance to use ballads of epic ballads. Of no, well, I, didn't, I didn't get to use tough as all. I didn't get to use cross <laughs> remedies and stuff. So we didn't get to use quite. I'll be tempted to do this. to do it again. Well, yeah, I kind of like it because um, normally you are kind of focusing your trolls and giants on. You know, normally necessarily want them to get moonstone because you want them to be going and hitting stuff. Yeah. But then again, they are good moonstone cards because they're tough. But this one, you they had so low energy, and you still had to think about the moonstone. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. It's an interesting game. I think we'd, because we obviously we made some tweaks to the sleepy head scenario, and I didn't mind the tweaks, but I think I'd make further tweaks yep. knowing we're going to use these. Yep. But I'm not going to talk too much now because we're actually going to do a podcast on sort of giants and trolls, oh talking God. about this battle report, but also just generally talking about them as well and how to kind of um, do reports, really. How to do not reports, how to do games <laughs> with sort of mainly giants and trolls and things to think about. Um, I thought it would be fun to do it. It'd be a fairly short podcast, I expect. But so we'll talk a bit more about this battle during the podcast. So I won't do too much now. So yeah, I enjoyed it though. Again, yeah, it's I just cool. like yeah. we, we we play a lot of more time recently, which we both which we all love. Yeah. And as I, I'm not in any way taking away from it. Like I love Moonstone, but I'm also really enjoying more time at the moment. But then I really like the fact that whenever I come back. To Moonstone, I was like, oh yeah, it's so good, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I'm like, oh, <laughs> like I, because we 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 kind of message what we're going to play before, and I was like, oh, we can play some forty k Jack, and you're like, no, oh, I don't really feel like it. We do Moonstone, and then I was like, yeah, okay, fine, I kind of fancy some forty k. And, and then yeah, so, the so, well. no, come out I was like, no, definitely want to play this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely this, definitely this. Um, we're also done within like an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, we'd still be probably deploying forty k. Well, you would. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, it was definitely. I, I, yeah, I actually really enjoyed it. It's a bit, very different way of playing, and and yeah, we'll talk about it in the podcast anyway. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see you next time. time.